now we're live. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and family. And, and now a word from past Steve. <sighs> hey, howdy, y'all. Welcome back to Beyond the Pine, episode 76. We're excited you're here. On the podcast today, we have me, Stephen Suptic, award-winning content creator. In front of me, we have Clayton James Klein Brisson. I feel like you're selling tampons. What a star. And to my left, we've got just the most special man you could ever ask for. Seems like he's in a bad mood today. James DeAngelis. What a star. And behind the mixer and cameras, there's James Allen McCune, who once swallowed three entire hot dogs without even opening his mouth. And that... And welcome back. <laughs> and that what? And that what, man? Don't to cut it off. episode uh, 76 of Beyond the Pine. Now, before we really get into it, I just want to say that we have a, you know, quick old word from our sponsors. Thought I just ruined the fireplace. The fire. <laughs> fire. Duh. And by quick word, I mean now it's happening. <laughs> <sighs> What's better than brushing your teeth? Uh, raisins. Raisins are really cool, but raisins can also get stuck in your teeth. And thanks to Quip, our sponsor for this episode, we're going to talk about how you can get those raisins out. The new year means new resolutions, and we've got one you're working on twice every day. I didn't know it was twice you're supposed to brush your teeth every day. You didn't know that? I thought it was once a week. Uh, it's your oral health. That's the resolution. And with a Quip electric toothbrush, sticking to good habits is simple. Simple. The guiding features are like a built-in support system for better brushing. Pressure. Hmm. It's time to motivate you guys. I know I could use a quick motivation boost with brushing my teeth. I always do need one. I'll motivate you every day, man. Just, hey, brush. So what's the best thing about Quip? Uh, sensitive sonic vibrations. I love vibrators. For an effective clean that's gentle on your sensitive gums. Uh, people brush their teeth way too damn hard. And some mm. electric toothbrushes are too abrasive. Mm. Mine, mm. the bristles are two years old, and mm. it's just like brushing with a brick. Oh, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, mm. It has Never built in two minute timer pulses every 30 seconds to remind you when to switch sides mm. and help you to clean your whole mouth evenly. Mm. Mm. Up to mm. 90% of us mm. don't brush for a full two minutes and mm. don't clean evenly. How about that? Mm. 20 nice minutes, did you say? No, bud. <laughs> so it has a multi use cover, works at a stand, mounts to mirrors like, you know, ah. and mm. slides over your bristles mm. to mm. pack and protect your quip on the go. Mm. So mm. when you're on those mm. nasty little travel trips you take, um, <laughs> those nasty trips. <laughs> those nasty trips you take. Uh, so it is also important that it has the suction because it declutters your sink uh -huh. or cabinet and makes traveling with an electric toothbrush easier. Plus, uh -huh. there are no wires or a clunky charger, and it runs for three months on Ooh. a single charge. Uh -huh. That's wonderful. Uh -huh. The brush heads are automatically delivered on a dentist recommended schedule every three months for just five dollars. Uh -huh. A friendly reminder when it's time for a refresh and to stay committed to your oral health. Uh -huh. I have commitment issues. Uh -huh. Seventy-five percent of us use old, worn-out bristles that are ineffective. Uh -huh. I'm not getting married. Quip is one of the. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Quip is one of the first electric. To I am getting married. Quip is one of the first electric uh -huh. toothbrushes allegedly accepted by the American Dental Association, the ADA. They're backed by over 25,000 dental professionals, and they have thousands of verified five-star reviews. That's wow. wonderful, and that's amazing. That's wonderful, and that's amazing. That's nuts, That's dude. amazing. I, I love nuts. Quip because it keeps my mouth dentally hygiene, <sighs> and I couldn't imagine a more fun thing to brush with, and it suctions right to my little mirror. <sighs> dude, if you didn't have Quip, I don't think we'd be able to work with you because your dental hygiene would have been yeah. so poor. Well, that's why I love Quip. And why over one million happy, healthy mouths do too. Yeah. Mm. Quip starts at just twenty five yeah. bucks. And if you go to getquip.com slash pine pine right now, you can get your yeah. first refill pack for free. That's your first refill pack free at G E T Q U I P dot com slash pine. Baby. Thank you, Quip, for sponsoring right. the podcast. Yeah. And uh <laughs> Ah man, dude. come on. Hey man. Dude. Come on, dude. Hey, enough you of that shit. You can't. No pulling out weapons I on the podcast, man. I got a fucking big ass to monitor. You can't. Yeah, you'll get actually never hit him. You're out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. You, yeah, you're fully you're, out of bullets. Um, yeah. So, guys, before we really get going, I wanted to show you. I've been listening to um, a podcast called uh, The Big One. It's mm. about you know the earthquake that could have hit in the next day. It could hit in a year from now. Yeah, yeah you're, you're real horny about this earthquake. You right? refused um, to tell us any safety tips, but only you knew. It's funny that you mentioned safety tips because at the end of this podcast, The Big One. Uh, they have a different person come in after the credits roll. An expert. And 
you know the podcast is called the big one yeah so let me just uh exp- I'll, I'll let her you'll you'll hear it there is good news a lot of the place shut up our music's by andy claw song so these are the go credits. check them out on spotify it appears as though there's some audio <laughs> just turn the volume down a little issues but you'll you'll still hear it so imagine it's not Hey, big one listener. It's me. Come on. Dude. Man, wow. What that was gets, the decision with that? That gets saucy quick. Dude, that's so funny. So was that for an ad read or no, was that the person telling you the tip? Like, that's the tip. Here's like, the fucking... Yeah. Wow. Just... And then it's silence. And then... Hey, big one listener. Mm, it's wow. me. Hey, big one, listeners. What a long silence that was, too, Dude, wasn't it? Wow. It's so awkward. I guess he had to be there. I'm okay with it. Are you guys prepared for the earthquake? No. Dude, no, you didn't not. give us no. any fucking tips, man. You kept that to yourself. Okay, here's a tip right off the bat. Yeah. If you want to save up on water, water bottles, you want to put them in different no, areas. I want to know how to survive the fucking earthquake. After that, so many people are dead. Okay. I'm going to be rummaging through so, you're just saying, so many apartments and so many houses taking whatever the fuck I want. So you want mm-hmm. immediate, Dogs. immediate tips. Looting. Stuff yes. that you can do right in the moment. In the moment, how do I survive? Absorb, absorb the shockwave. Yes. So you still want to... Well, the first thing you want to do is check whether or not your establishment, the place you're living in, is uh, earthquake proof. Four floors, I'm if on it's the bottom. Been renovated. Probably not. I live in a small house. I'll be fine. Um, James will be fine. I will be crushed. How do I. After you've done that, uh, I imagine your place has been renovated for earthquake protection. Who knows? Protection. Yeah. There's a own, way to check. There's an online. Um, I think it was 1302. Um, oh, yeah, when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um,. After you've checked whether or not your place can survive an earthquake or if it's structurally sound, you want to hop underneath a table. Just anything that you can go hop. under. Dude, a fucking entire building comes if down on my dude, apartment the under thing. the table is not going to save me, man. If your whole building's coming down, coming down, then nothing is going to save you. Well, then. Then you're fucked either way. So I just, just have to die. Uh, no, it's one of two things. Move. Uh-huh. Or just don't be home when it happens. They recommend. I'd like to schedule the time if we can figure out exactly when it's going to happen. I'll, I'll talk I to some. Take, talk I to can my take guys. Sammy Joe for a walk. Yeah, we can figure out the collaboration on that. You know what I mean? She needs about an she hour. She needs to go of pee or poop outside. Yeah. One important thing is you are not supposed to leave your apartment unless you have shoes because that's a huge injury that people always get as they go out stepping on a bunch of nails, and yeah, glass. Glass. And nails and everything and chips stale chips also yeah. and the, legos the biggest thing there's just legos everywhere <sighs> who did this the biggest <laughs> thing that scares me is uh, all the gas all the fires ga- are a huge yeah all the wow. gas lines that are going to be ruptured because of the earthquakes like if it's if it's destroying like all the houses and shit then like maybe not as the earthquakes happening but after everything's like settling and breaking and shit, all the gas lines are gonna be ruptured and like right. all the explosions and shit. Yeah, Alyssa's really fearful of the gas too because I get really nervous. Yeah, you get and a I lot. Get, of, I get really get gassy. Of, and Steve's gas lines break daily. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, um, I'm trying to think of another tip. Uh, there was one that was like, what about the the, the standing under a, like a door's frame? I heard that was pretty good. Maybe yeah. That yeah. could, that could, that, that might work. Structurally, say, it's they usually say uh, pretty good. in a doorway or like an archway under a table or between like if there's say you have like a big dresser like one of those like uh, mm. armoires like up against the wall or something. Get in there between that and the bed because if it falls, it won't fall on you. It'll mm. fall on the bed. So like get next to your bed. I think I'll just get in my car and drive wall. the fuck away. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna. That's very difficult. I think I'll be I'll be out. You think? Yes. One thing that you really should remember uh, is that you can't get injured. Um, if you sustain a very serious injury, You're the fucked. chances, yeah, the chances of you being able to get help at a hospital are slim to none. I'll just bring my turret with me. Your turret? Yeah. <laughs> oh bring, yeah. I'll what's bring that? My shuriken. What's a turret? You know, my turret. It's got a lot of bandages. Like a tourniquet. My turret. My, my turret. Sorry, I meant <laughs> tourniquet, but in this <laughs> case, <laughs> my turret kit. I'll bring my turret. I'll bring my turd kit with me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna bring my turret kit, dude. I have a gun and I set it up. And anyone tries to come near me, I just fucking mow them down. Gonna, I'm just gonna throw ride my them into the fucking, away. I'm gonna throw them into the little crevice that the earthquake made. And just to make sure these people aren't trying to harm you in any way, they're trying to help. They're bringing yeah. you water and food. Exactly. I kill Eggs. them. I take their water and their food, and now I don't have they're to share bringing it. With them. it. Did you know? For only you. Looting I don't is trust them. To, in some areas, it's okay. Not areas, but like in the event of an earthquake, if you loot for things that you really need, like water and food, it's not illegal. Really? Yeah. I if mean, you, under what, what 
circumstances does uh, the government go it, fucking an go for it? An earthquake. Wow. Yeah. But if you're stealing a TV and they see you but walking around with the TV, yeah. I needed it. it I needed to... it. For what? <laughs> my little Play, bro. Playing GameCube, dude. My little bro. <laughs> playing GameCube. My little bro needs it, man. My little bro's birthday's coming up. I fucking need it. I also, I don't give a sh- Like, if there's a natural disaster like that big where you need to, like, be stealing food and water, mm. I don't give a fuck if it's legal or not. Like, I'll, I need to survive. I'll steal water and I'm shit. I'm going to film you to and survive. Well, it, it is to the government. It is legal. legal. It's so being filmed. It that's is right. legal, so it doesn't matter if you care then. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so wonderful. Crazy. Would you just loot shit? I think I would just hide. I'd be like, Sammy Joe, come with me. We're going into a tunnel and we're going to stay there. But she'll, and she'll be like, Kip, the earthquake's over. We need to hide. <laughs> well, aftershocks. Yeah, I mean, aftershocks can. Especially can if, it's a, if it's the big one, then aftershocks are also going to be big. Mm-hmm. Jamie, what kind of man would you be in an earthquake? Not. I'll answer turned it for you. Turned into a woman, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I just mean, he would be turned into a woman. I just hope that he this would be. <laughs> dude, the earthquake just turns him into a woman. Just <laughs> uh, my dick and balls fall all the way off. <laughs> Jamie accidentally, get, the earthquake happens when he's in the pet cemetery. <laughs> he gets turned into a dog, a dead dog. <laughs> I there hope that this is the event that uh, releases everyone's mutant gene. Oh, yeah. So then after the earthquake, we're all mutants and we all have different powers and shit. I want to be Stretch Man. <laughs> I want to be, of all the things. I want to be Water Dog. <laughs> <laughs> but James can transform into a Water Dog. Kip can only stretch one finger and he can just like <laughs> No, I, I want to turn into a Water Moccasin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to turn into a, a Queen Cobra. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's fucking right. right. What would you want to be mm, if I would grow pick, up? If I pick what's a, your mutant power? Yeah, if I were to have a mutant power... It would probably be uh, distension, mm-hmm. you know. I could pro- I want to suck myself in and be able to stick through, uh, and to be able to stick to walls, <laughs> dude. Dude, that'd be perfect. That'd be the human, the, the human sticky hand. The earthquake happens <laughs> and Steve's stuck to a wall and he just absorbs all the impact. And just Unfortunately, I can't unstick. Uh, that's the biggest issue with okay. my, my mutant. You, that's power. why you need your your partner. Yeah, because they're not they're like everything but Lub- sticky. Lubricant man. Or I want to be Midas. He'll unstick me from the. They call him Rudy Lou. You have the Midas touch. I have the Midas touch, and I can just ting. Everything turns into dog shit. <laughs> 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 that is no longer useful for you, sir. Be gone. I always, I always said that, <laughs> that was the my best daughter. <laughs> superpower would be to make exact co- to be able to make exact copies of things. Mm. That would be the most useful. Th- uh, power. What would you make exact copies of other than yourself for fucking? Turtwig. I mean, there's really nothing else. <laughs> Steve, in Pokemon Go, 400 Turtwig and Magikarp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone gets that one. Yeah, what would actually, what would be the first thing you copy, Jamie? Two memes. And then two memes. Now two people can be happy. Probably like Forever. water bottles. I don't know. It's a fucking earthquake, right? Yeah, water bottles, food, bunch of hug dots. Hugged? What is Hug dot. It's hug dot. What would we do if the earthquake hit while we're here filming the podcast? Because you're supposed to spend about keep rolling. <laughs> we're supposed to have a path, like a map of Los Angeles, mm. um, in case the lines are down and everything, and you want to be able to, you know, of course, get back with your significant other and well, your I family know, and everything. I know how to get home. I know enough of uh, what Los Angeles looks like to do that. All he Me does too. is he just does this and ting, 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 ting. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I just go, ting, 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 just clears a path like ting, <laughs> ting. What do you think the easiest walking path would be to get home? Just like Sepulveda? I would want to be by the coast, personally. Hmm. I would want to go up the coast Mm-mm, because no, no, because no. because if you hey, go up the I'm coast during an earthquake, you're gonna, gonna, gonna it's gonna be saying. tsunami territory. Mm. Uh, the tsunami's not gonna happen if the earthquake is here. <laughs> it's not gonna bring water to us. Well, no, because. A tsunami is going to be caused if there's an earthquake in the water, like well, out that's, in the ocean. If there's an earthquake here, then that would, then it stands to, to you, you, you it stands the test of time. That that would cause an earthquake in the water, right? Yeah, but no, it, it, a tsunami would have to happen. You're if not there understanding, was like Jamie. A deep earthquake out in the ocean. That's what causes tsunamis. Like if there's an earthquake here and the San Andreas Fault happens, it would send the shockwaves out. It did you get bring... that through your thick fucking dumbass skull, Did bitch? you hear what Am the I guy wrong? said? I'm not sure I, I did. I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't think Who that it would knows? bring water. I don't think it would bring a tsunami to us. Mm. I think if an earthquake happens at sea, then it would push the water. Because the shockwave right. goes out, and that's what co- mm. creates yeah, the... Yeah, that makes the most sense. It yeah. does. Now, obviously, as I'm not a science Yeah, neither am I. Expert. I'm just thinking of it with like common sense, that if the earthquake happens like next to the San Andreas Fault, then it's pushing all that out. Yeah. So it's pushing it away. Like, if it's that oh, yeah. big... Hawaii might be, Autumn might die. Autumn and Bruce might die. She's in, in Oahalaku right now. Yeah, she is. Is that actually the name of the place? Absolutely not. Nope, Oahu. Uh, Oahu, yeah. <laughs> nope, Hawaii. <laughs> nope, and that's, Hawaii. And that's not the island with the Jurassic Park. That's uh, Kauai. That's so Kauai. Cool. I don't know where we're gonna go on our honeymoon. We think Costa Rica, maybe. Cool. That's cool. That might be nice. Have go you to ever Cancun. been to Costa Rica? I might, I might no. go there this year, actually. Don't go there when I'm going there. 
Why would I, dude? Why? Dude? I don't know. Then we like, all hang we, out. Do you really need to have a honeymoon when you're not even married? When I'm having my honeymoon? When I am it's married? It's not a honeymoon. It's a vacation. It's oh. a buddy moon. And you don't even know when I'm going to go. James and I, I might both you go. go. You're not married yet. You guys aren't going to plan your trip around my honeymoon. We I know might, you are. dude. And you guys we are going to show up there when I'm trying to have a nice, relaxing honeymoon. You guys are going to go on the beach and you're going to... Yeah. Be- <laughs> no, dude. Okay, no, you're going to be on the beach. have had this plan for so long. Longer than you have. So we decided if Steve ever goes there, we're going to go at the same time, obviously. And then you're going to have your own little beach spot with Alyssa. It's going to be totally private. You're going to be with her and it's going to be no big deal. James and I, three feet to your right, we got a... A cabana. We got a, we we're got a hanging mansion. out there we got too, a beach man. Mansion, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're fucking I, hanging out there too, playing ukulele. And the dope, paintball and the, guns. Yeah, and the dope thing is that I'm actually gonna snipe you. From yeah, really, from really close. Oh, what kind of rifle do you have, man? Uh, Pinch forty two. Actually, got a big wig, fifty cal. A big wig, fifty cal. Yeah, it turns Steve into a massive CEO. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Fortune five hundred cal. Oh no, guys. Oh what is no. It? What do we have today, man? Um, give me two seconds. Oh no, guys. Oh god. Keep stalling. No. Oh no. There's a there's a freaking pedophile on YouTube, man. This is creepy. Oh, this wait. This is a creepy way to talk there's about this. There's a freaking there's a stinking freaking guy who who tries to get nudes was from it the kids. Fucking ah! dumbass, was it the dumbass bitch ass singer guy too? Yeah. Oh fuck. Fuck the guy's trying to get nudes this from This is the worst. And now he he admitted guilty. This. And what is where is he now? Oh no. Awahalaku. Where is he now? Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountains, hiding hey. away. Hiding away. You just tried to find him in there. Oh. What was that Oh, sound? dude, that was like... Those were two turds in a toilet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that sounds like a good thing, like two peas in a pod. Yeah, me and James are like two turds in a toilet. <laughs> we ride together, we die together. Dunk? Dunk. Yeah, they're, um... What's this guy's name? His name is uh, Alex Ernst. No. Oh. Austin, Uh-oh. Beef. Austin, Austin we Jones. love Alex Austin Ernst. Jones. Austin Jones. We love Alex Ernst. Um, and he... he Pled guilty Austin Jones. Mm. to child porn charges. Right. Oh, he would be. Look at him. Jones yeah, yeah. admitted to enticing six underage girls to send him explicit videos to prove they were his biggest fans. That's like psychotic, dude. Fuck. That's fucked. Fuck. There's so, something show wrong. Me, show me your tits and your ass and you'll be my biggest fans and that'll show me how you do we it. We love you. Oh, you really? How about you show me my your tits and my ass? <laughs> <laughs> how about you send me a picture of my tits and your ass? Show me me gaping you. <laughs> show now me, remember guys. Show me, me, Gabe. Now remember, guys. These are these are children that. It, uh, no, we're talking I'm about the fucking just freak. Austin. About the freak and what he says, man. Yeah, we read the the statement. We read the rules, man. <laughs> uh, so YouTube star Austin Jones, twenty six, pled guilty. Is it because they wrote pleaded? Is it pleaded? Pleaded, yeah. Pleaded. Wow, I always I think it was it's pled. both, isn't it? Pled, pleaded. Jamie, what do you think? I don't. Well, this is buzz, just, this I'll, is Buzzfeed, so it's probably pled. Yeah. I'll, I'll Google I'm just going to say pleaded, because that's what the article says. Pleaded guilty Friday to child porn charges after he persuaded several young female fans to make and send him sexually explicit videos of themselves. Jones, who became famous for his acapella covers... Uh, acapella covers? That's so fucking lame for him. Admitted in a plea agreement to enticing six <laughs> underage girls to send the videos to prove they were his biggest fans. He faces between five and 20 years in prison. It's um, pleaded. Listen, singing's dope, yeah. acapella's dope, but it's so funny <laughs> that this guy who's a pedophile did acapella to get big so just no music however I just wanna be a big rock star send me your tits in the beer I'd rather <laughs> love and be I just wanna be big rock star <laughs> according to the plea agreement Jones convinced the six girls who were all 14 and 15 oh, years old dude, to send videos of, of themselves performing sexual acts showing their anuses breasts and up. genitals and dancing dude. in a sexual manner he also attempted to persuade many more underage female fans to send him explicit videos and photographs on approximately 30 other occasions 30 um, in the dancing videos Jones would encourage the Hold girls on, to calling, talk about their age Oh, he's calling you? Hey, y'all, you heard you guys were talking about me on your podcast. I just wanted to sing with some acapella. I just want to be... Dude, you know, he's so fucking lucky that Chris Hansen isn't around anymore. Mm. Chris Hansen will be, Chris will be back. He will be back. He'll be back to hunt And you know guy. what? Chris For will be sure. back, baby. He and will I be back. know it, and you know it. Chris you know it. will come. Chris, will Chris why did you have to send those bad checks? No, it's what okay. What if he goes to the same prison as, as Chris Hansen? Well, Chris, oh, Chris Hansen would Chris kill will him. Bury no, him. Chris, Chris, Chris would make him his bitch. His Chris will bitch. bury him. Are you kidding me? Dude, I would watch that. You ever heard of like a prison shank? You ever heard of a prison? Hey, what's that? Um, pri- what's that? Uh, what's that prison thing prisoners do to masturbate? It's called a pee pee or something. Fifi. Fifi. Oh, what's that? So that sounds great. Uh, Jamie, it, you've you've been to prison. What what is it? It's it's where you it's uh it's it's where you build something that simulates 
uh, a gyna, and then you. Oh, I have a friend who did that with a, a toilet fee-fee? paper, a toilet paper yes. roll. Is that the name? Uh, isn't that the name of that uh, six nine and Nicki Minaj song? Hey, speaking of yes, speaking of six nine, so really? that boy's going to prison till he is sixty nine years old. Oh, yeah. Wow, forty seven years, right? Yeah. All right, no way till he's sixty nine for real. Yeah, that that's was, that so was funny. Like, that's a really funny like. Hey, that's so um, fucking funny. Would you guys dude. like to know what a fifi is? Please. Yeah, um, I know what a fifi is. It was is, invented man. in prison. A fifi towel folded twice with the open end of a rubber glove sticking out. Mm-hmm, After mm-hmm, being rolled, mm-hmm. the end of the glove is then stretched over the top. Then it is finished by pulling a sock over the opposing end to hold the glove in a, in place. Oh yeah, it can then be man. ran under warm water. That sounds great. Or placed in between mattresses to create a real life effect. So they now, fuck mattresses. <sighs> do you want to know where I learned about this? Doing it on Xbox Live huh. when I was probably around You're twelve playing, years oh, old, yeah, I think I about this. fifteen years old. Some dude just started talking. We were, I was playing Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter mm-hmm. online. Yeah. Some dude just starts talking to me about, hey, you want to know what a prison? And he called it a pee pee at the time. A prison pee pee. So, so that means that he was just a kid who uh, had heard it. And hey, do you want to know about my pee pee? <laughs> yeah. It was a kid. <laughs> it's kind of it's made out of a rubber glove. It was a kid who probably had a family member that went to prison or something, or he looked up online. Who knows? Yeah. There are many ways he could learn about what a PPS is. Oh, yeah. Well, you should believe everyone you talk to on Xbox Live. Definitely. For sure. They've all fucked my mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a friend who would make poo-poo pee-pee fifis out of uh, a toilet paper roll, and he'd put a condom on the inside of it, mm-hmm. and then he would wrap like the end of the condom around the thing, and he would just squirt and shirt in that. Was he living with his parents at the time? Yes. Thank so God. Jones yeah, had been scheduled to perform at the Warped Tour that year, but no. more than nine... Even, that's the second, well, to my knowledge, the second pedophile. Um, there was uh, Abandoning, not Abandoning Sunday, some other fucking guy. Whatever, keep going. There's another guy who was like really big and warped and he was a fucking freak. I know who you're talking about. I don't remember the name. Is he from a band? Have no, he's a band? solo singer. He was really fucking oh, good too, actually. Band. I was thinking um, of a guy from a band. It is fuck is his name. Just how many people in media are like shitty pedophiles that are like or like just sex predators in general has anything like, happened with the brian singer thing yet dude no I he's fucking, fine right i no, he, i think something i think mo- i think movement's starting to happen like i've been seeing a, him a lot in the news lately. finally it's fucking crazy to me how that dude's still around or what's the guy who did um jeepers creepers uh, john that, redlinger <laughs> oh no <laughs> no the guy who did jeepers creepers uh, is a convicted Child oh, predator, the right? Right. Um, yeah, the director. He like of took Jeepers off. Creepers. He, he, he like he he. Uh, no, he shit town and, and was left, convicted he? and then still came back and did Jeepers Creepers. Victor, Victor Salva? Salva. Yeah, dude, what the look fuck? at him, yeah. Victor. Can I see? Is there any way we can get that on the screen there? No. Come on, baby. He doesn't need any more attention. I want to see him. No, it's fine. Uh, I need him for my memory oh, bank. Oh, he did Jeepers Creepers. That's right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. And he was able to do Jeepers Creepers three. Now yep. it makes sense. Mm. That is dude, so screwed up. I was thinking of um. When you said Jeepers Creepers, I don't know why I was thinking of that. Um, what was that old like cartoon book series that was the scary one? Oh, Goosebumps. 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 I was thinking of yep. Goosebumps for some mm. reason. I briefly was, song. but as he said Jeepers Creepers, I instantly knew that Jeepers, it was not Goosebumps. Creepers. I don't know where, where did you get, get those peepers? Jeepers Creepers. Where, where did you get, get those eyes? Oh, I fucked a kid. Oh no, now that's the part I they cut out of that song. Think everybody. <laughs> Stop listening, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that story guy, yeah. wraps up with Jones responded at the time in a video where he apologized for having communicated with my fans in a way that I have come to fully realize was not appropriate. <laughs> How is this kid? But claimed it never went further than the twerking videos. Jones oh, had been scheduled to perform the Warped Tour uh, despite... Um, so more than 9,000 people signed a petition calling for his removal due to the allegations. Good. Despite initial pushback from the event's founder, Jones was eventually pulled from the lineup. It looks Dude. like this man's future is warped. He's Yikes. officially warped his career. So his excuse was, uh, oops, my bad. I didn't realize that it was inappropriate, and it never went further than sh- them showing me their asshole. Uh, I didn't know I couldn't ask fifteen-year-olds I'm, to see their asshole. I'm, yeah, I'm so f- sorry that, that I d- I messaged all these little girls on on my social media, and <laughs> I did not know. I did not know. I, I asked them to twerk and sh- show me a uh, part that most most of, most of their butthole, and <laughs> most they, of it. and all the other parts of them, and. I didn't realize that was wrong. I I know there's laws. Nobody and ever I know told me. and I know I'm not afraid of jail and but I know what I did was right. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm so wrong and I'm so sorry. But and I'm in love with every single girl. one of those girls that I made them show me um most of their assholes <laughs> because he sees the real truth. 
I don't have a lot of girls who show me their assholes in my life. Only 30. And these 30 girls <laughs> awoke me sexually and now I <laughs> And now I'll come back stronger. <laughs> stronger than and ever. And I'll come back with more friends. <laughs> and more assholes showing to me. Hey, Dude. you know what the prison's never gonna take away from him? His singing talent. No, they'll rip his fucking <laughs> throat out, dude. They fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and then they should cut his dick hey, off. Hey, go ahead, kid. Hey, hey, YouTube kid. Sing me a fucking song. Sing me a song and then show me your fucking asshole, okay? I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. If you don't show How me... How old is he? How old is he? He was 26. 26. 26. Oh, yeah. No, he knows. <laughs> yeah. He knows. Oh, no, he knows. He's known for years. He knew before he did it. He knew when somebody asked him when he was 14 yeah. to send a picture of his And that's oh, yeah. when he thought it was okay. Send a picture of his ice hole. And it all goes back to when he was first showing his bank So hole. that means that, you know, he, he was like, <laughs> show me a picture of your bankroll. <laughs> I have these urges, but I think they're wrong. Let's do it. <laughs> I think they're wrong. On Let's today's episode, we're going to try it. <laughs> um, you know, my mom said, I told her about it, and she said, go get therapy. And instead... I said, let's do it. <laughs> That's it. Said, in one of his YouTube videos. So yeah, actually, guys, um, thank you so much for uh, 700 million subs. Um, I, I just wanted to say, like, it's crazy. Like when you when you're talking to your mom and you're like kind of getting into real stuff with her, you know, and you're like, yeah, mom, I I want to be honest with you because you're my mom. You know, you know me better than anyone. And you said, I said to my mom, rest rest your soul. I said. <laughs> I have been having, I am, I'm, 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 I'm been having <laughs> these well. urges to like ask, mm. asking to, for these girls who are under the age of 18 to send me pictures of their butthole. And she said to me, son, don't do that. And I thought to myself, fucking bitch. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. So on today's episode, <laughs> we're gonna do it. And God rest her soul, we, she died collabing with me. <laughs> and, She's and a backup you know what, singer. You know what? In her memory, let's get this video to 10 million likes. And God, God damn it, send me some pictures of your asshole. <laughs> and so that's probably news, how that went we're down. We're very sorry to the irreparable damage this man did to all of the oh, jokes. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> abused. All, everything. Oh, yeah. all we're not making jokes. light of that. All, all of this was, jokes was to, to his well, hey, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> this guy deserves to be laughed at. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, no it's we, very serious what happened. We but all agree. Fuck that guy. The uh, this is a comedy podcast, and oh, obviously we're gonna make jokes about a little pedophile boy. Yeah, he can eat and fuck his own ass. It's shit a very now. sad thing that <laughs> these girls were it. taken advantage of. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, and same with the R. Kelly cases. Dude, there's so, it's, there's so much to talk about. You know, there's like, so with many so many cases like that happening. I want this guy to be forced to eat his own ass in prison, and then he chokes on it. Yeah. Dude, so, I cannot imagine I a better you know? way and for I'm, this man. I'm usually a really nice guy when it comes to that, but. To, no, to pedophiles? I, yeah. Yeah. What other news you got you there? You usually do cut them a lot of slack. <laughs> you do, Dude, yeah. You usually yeah. do message all the pedophiles on Slack. I was just about to say, yeah, Oddly a enough. lot of them try to hit me up on Slack, but they don't know that I'm 24. James is a big uh, pedo supporter. Oddly enough. <laughs> um, this story doesn't catch my attention as much as the previous one, but it still has a very funny title, and it's on CNN. Hmm. A boy who was lost in the woods <laughs> says a bear kept him company. No one can prove it didn't happen. Nor that That's it did the happen. title. God, dude. dude. Think of that sentence. No one can prove it didn't happen. I think every Does that wow. mean that Situation. anybody can prove that it did happen? Or that no one can prove that it did happen? Or that everyone can prove that it did happen? There's I'm going to no tell way. CNN that I have an alien in my basement, but that I let it go. There's no proof that and it didn't happen. That's true. <laughs> and there actually. was also no proof the bear wasn't actually Austin Jones in a suit. <gasps> That's right. Oh, no. There's no proof that that didn't happen, dude. <laughs> So, the boy was found on Thursday after being gone for three days, cold, mm. but alive, nonetheless. Thank God. In a mess of vines and thorns in Craven County, North Carolina. But the three-year-old has volunteered one noteworthy detail about those days in the woods. A bear kept him company. He made a comment about having a friend while he was in the woods. His friend was a bear. This boy was high out of his fucking mind. <laughs> Major David McFadian with the Craven County Sheriff's Office, told CNN Monday, in the emergency room, he started talking about what happened in the woods, and he said that he had a friend that was a bear with him while he was in the woods. Um, was it a teddy bear? That this kid just definitely ate a bunch of mushrooms by accident in the forest. Or 100% there was but just a bear that was, like, this chilling. Kid, this kid got lost after a wisdom tooth removal. He was out there oh, high, for, high out of his mind. Not really. I thought for a second, I was like, he's three. Yeah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. But how did he stay alive that long out in the forest? That's a great question. If not for the, the help of a friendly bear. That's amazing, though. It's probably Yogi. 
I buy it. Or poo. Wow. The first night it dropped down to 20 degrees. The second night we had two inches of rain. He said the three-year-old boy will undergo a forensic psychological exam this week. But for now, authorities are giving Casey time to recover and settle with his family. It's um, Casey Frey. He hasn't been interviewed yet about what happened. He's a three-year-old boy. Yeah, he's well, a three-year-old boy. Why do they boy? need to say that? Thank he God hasn't he's been alive. interviewed yet. He's a three-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah, just, just a reminder, he's a three-year-old boy, and there is no fucking way he actually spent his weekend with a bear in the forest. But also, <laughs> little, little, little kids have such wide imaginations. Yeah. You know, massive amounts of I imagination. I buy also, it. I don't know Rangers if I buy it. Safe. I buy How it. do you survive for three days in freezing temperatures? Yeah. That's why, like, animals, ha- like, there's a lot of stories of animals, um, like, taking in children that are lost or missing a- as, like, their own, especially if it's a three-year-old kid. He's- there were a lot of stories like yeah, this? Yeah, what the fuck? What? You've never heard of this okay. stuff like this Maybe, happening? like, a wolf pack, right? I'm asking Didn't Jeeves like right happen? now. Look, imagine, you don't buy that it, there's potential. Maybe this bear, it was a female bear, a mother bear, mm. maybe one of her cubs died, and she saw this kid there, and maybe at first, you know, she's up to him and then kind of just took him under his wing. I've never heard a story like that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I've heard of mothers lifting, you know, cars off their infants. I don't know. I buy it. And even that's bullshit. Dude, I, uh, Adrenaline's I got some news I'm for kidding, you guys. I be know. checking the, uh, the, the podcast topics. You got what? If you want to check the podcast topics. There's like, more. There's fucking more. I got a whole that's article. That's amazing, though. Like, what a cool thing for a, a, a fucking vicious animal like that. Like, what kind of bear was it, first off? There's no way it was like a grizzly or a polar or some shit. Like oh, uh, oh if it was a polar, a polar bear, bear, it would have engulfed him immediately. Well, it, was in, it was in North Carolina. It wasn't a polar yeah, bear. Jamie, yeah, Jamie. Please stop interrupting. Oh please stop interrupting. No, the please stop is interrupting. You are interrupting me, Tevin. This is you doing what you're telling me not to do, hypocrite. Hmm, someone in this group isn't funny. Now, would you like that for 500 or 1,000? Let's see uh, what Ten Jamie put in the thousand. podcast topics. Ten thousand. Um, feral children, children raised by animals. This is mm. on ZMZ, ZME Science. I've heard of that. Don't got to be a cunt about it. <clears throat> We've often heard of feral animals. <laughs> oh, disable my ad block. <laughs> no, you know what? I'd rather continue without supporting ZME Science. We've often heard of feral animals, but how often do you hear about feral children? Feral children, autumn feral children, have been isolated from human contact from a very young age and grow up wild, ah, sometimes being taken care of by animals. In other cases, feral children have been confined by people, usually their own parents. Oh, yikes. But here, we'll only be discussing some cases of children raised by animals in the wild. Be prepared for some amazing and bizarre stories. <laughs> you all right. <laughs> Ah, do you hate pseudoscience? No, thank you. I don't need these pocket guides. I love super science. <laughs> Marina Chapman is an author of a popular book and currently lives author. in Bradford, England. <laughs> if you didn't know about anything about her past, you'd say she's a pretty normal person living a normal life. But uh, her book, which is an autobiography, is so incredible that most publishers refused to publish it, thinking that it was a lie. Marina was kidnapped, probably for ransom, <laughs> but was then abandoned in the Colombian jungle. A oh, bunch of half ass kidnappers. She was lucky enough to be adopted by a group of capuchin monkeys. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Which are known to we accept. Can't prove it didn't happen. Which are known to accept human children in their groups. How about that? How are they known for that? Dude, yeah. they're well known for that. The animals taught young Marina how to catch birds and rabbits with her bare hands. How old was she? So she, she had was bare able hands to, too? So she was able to survive and take care of herself. After five years, she was rescued. She was arrested? <laughs> by well, Five years. That by is the, a by the monkey, 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 monkey police. Uh, she was rescued by hunters who, in fact, found her and sold her and to a brothel. Her. Oh, holy is that for real? Yeah, fuck, that, dude. Is that part for real? Yeah. At that point, she had no human language capability. Only, the only thing she could speak was... <laughs> she ran from her, the brothel, lived on the streets, and became a slave to the mafia family. Wow. Jesus, this can't be real. Yeah, wow. I, don't, I don't believe a that is fucking, fucking she, lick of this. And then she went in a spaceship, and then she went to the moon. And then she created the stars. It's All definitely right. an and-then story. <laughs> and now, guys, we're going to talk about Ostrich Boy. Ostrich Boy? Sidi Muhammad, the Ostrich Boy told his amazing story in 1945, just after World War II. At the age of five or six, he wandered off from his North African family, 
found an ostrich nest with chicks hatching and befriended the parent ostriches. There's no way. They, they skipped a whole piece of the puzzle. How do you... How do you they make took friends care, they took care with of the him. ostrich mother? They, they, they took care of him. They took care of him, teaching him to run fast. <laughs> <laughs> they taught him to run fast. It's like the training episode of The Flash. But you have an ostrich. All right, now it's time to talk about a toddler kept alive by cats. Argentinian police discovered that a one-year-old was taken care of by cats. All right, let's talk about the boy from Chile. Did he wean on the cats? The Come dog on. boy. So I assume this person was taken care of by dogs. 38 years old, living in a jungle. She was taken care of by um, the jungle. The, just the whole jungle. The jungle provided for her. It takes a village. Um, and then there's a wolf boy. There's a guy raised by a guard dog. Whoa. Whoa. Um, there's a monkey man. Uh and then another monkey man. I believe that. I ever heard of a little story called Tarzan? Yeah, the Jungle Book. Yeah, the Jungle Book. That's right. And then there's all. Oh wow, this one sounds interesting. The human amphibian. Fuck wait, off. Wait, he was dude. taught how to breathe underwater. Lizards. He was. <laughs> In yet another tragic case, Ramachandra was born sometime around 1960 in India. He was first <laughs> reported in 1973 and was rescued in 1979. He was living an amphibian-like lifestyle. He, he was only partially able to adapt to a human lifestyle, continuing to only eat raw food and hanging around in rivers. In 1982, he approached a woman probably sexually aroused oh, and cool. unaware of the human taboos. The woman felt threatened by him and threw boiling water on him. <laughs> Good God. And killed him. <laughs> what? Holy Whoa. fuck, man. So then how do they know that he was a reptile boy? He was probably just a freak. Who told his story? Yeah, he was just a just fucking a freak. That's, he was, a, really he was a feral freak from the wild, but he wasn't a lizard boy. Who, who the fuck said he was okay, a lizard so like, boy? I'm lizard, just lizards was are different than lizards. amphibians. Whatever. What kind of amphibians then? That was Frogs? My, that was my son. And I know before the boiling water was poured on him and killing him, <laughs> that 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 boy was raised by amphib amphibians. amphibians. Yeah. How well, what the, was this she is doing my with wife. This is, this is my wife. I'm actually the woman through the boiling water on my son. No, was she Maggie Smith? She hadn't <laughs> seen our son in probably what, like seventeen, 17 years, seventeen, seventeen, something like that. Yes. Yeah. It was a long time to go with that. And they now, came luckily, at me boner blazing. Yeah. He was holding his bone and he was covered in scales and scabs. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very frightening thing. Now. Obviously, I recognized our son. He's I like, did not, and I did not recognize him. And my other son, Greg and Geek, uh, yeah, he I was mean. able to actually talk to the boy, right. our son, yeah. before uh, the boiling water was thrown right. on him. Yeah, so basically, he, he ran up to me, with a, with, and I recognized him because he was still holding the baseball that I gave him when he was free, and I was free. Thing when I gave him the baseball, and then he had the baseball thudded up his ass. Yes, our and son he actually, was yeah, chasing me. Yeah. And yeah. before he was finished chasing me, he uh, went up to went up. he went up to my yeah. mother. Hello, this is me. Who's in haven't recognized him since. And I said, <laughs> I'm not having sex with you, amphibian. And I, I fucking. And that's when my dad came by. And fortunately, well, unfortunately, uh, Vivian always carries around a big pot, a jug of uh, boiling water. Boiling water, yeah. And now, yes, our son does still live with us. He's 33. 33, he's, 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 he's a little slow. Yeah, he's a little slow. He's got a debilitating uh, mouth illness that he can't, yeah. unfortunately, get another job. It's very contagious. I'd like to throw water on him actually yeah you know <laughs> what we should have just killed all of our sons you know in a bathtub drowned them you know I'd like what to read this comment from the chat which says what is going on in this podcast did you just join must have just joined then listen i still I, I, is there more information on that because no how I the fuck out. did anyone identify that he was raised by amphibians you know what you'll never know dude that's gonna fucking piss me off for a while, it's gonna piss you Just off. Don't think yeah, because I re well, how do you not? By not, you're right. I mean, I've already stopped caring about it. You're right. Yeah, I stopped. Whether it was true or not, I'm, I'm, none of it will affect my life. I'm a little concerned. I'll make sure of it. Can't help it. It's a crazy. Guys, story. fuck, man, fuck, guys. Ah, oh, shit. What, dude? Shit. Hold on. Is Steve okay? Guys, I don't think so. Has anyone heard from Steve? Oh, is he dude, right? wait, hold on. This is very serious. Is it? He's having a little farty again. No, wait, no, this is serious. <laughs> He's a little uh, farty farty in the tub. No, no results. Um, ah, oh, Jesus. What are we Googling? Uh, yeah, shit, guys. Oh. Shit, shit guys. Shit. Oh. Hmm, shit, guys. 
Well, hold Clay, on. Sing us a song while he hand. looks. Come oh, on, man, no. figure it out. Guys. Damon. No. Yeah, just can you Fight can you sing a sad song? Night. Or not not sing, but like do a melody of a sad song for me. We lost the freaking Super Bowl, guys. We lost the. Yeah, did, 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 did any of you guys watch it? Because I, I sure as I sure as heck didn't. Cares, man. I didn't watch it at all. Who cares? Hey, but before the Super Bowl started, I just want to say that mm. you know, big fan of Tom Brady. Yeah, he's the, he's the best there ever was. Yes, he is. He's Didn't the best he, uh, there ever was, and the best there ever will be. So, question. That's the only thing I care about, Tom Brady. Yes. I don't give a shit about his political affiliations. Uh. I don't give a fuck at all. He doesn't bring that into the game. I don't give a fuck mm. about anyone. And that's important. You shouldn't care. Don't bring your dirty laundry oh, into the game. He's, he's, he loves Trump. Who gives a fuck? He plays yeah. football. Who gives a fuck? Hey, honestly, he plays football. Yes, and he does doesn't it matter good. anyways. Yeah. And he, he's he's got a loving family, and he loves his family. He's a great dad, oh, great good. great husband. Giselle. He's a great role model, yeah. and he plays the game so damn well. Question about the halftime game: Was it good? Didn't watch it. The Don't care. Game. Don't it give a terrible. shit about the halftime Pipe. show because people wanted it to be the SpongeBob Sweet Victory song. Oh, I mean, uh, that would have been great. They were petitioning for that, and what was it? Pepsi or something said they were going to do it. Mm, Pepsi they said done. Well, I know it was like Tyga in Maroon Five. Why the fuck? Did anyone Dude, allow Maroon look, Five to play the halftime show? I'm just saying, like, show? if you think of like the perfect like duo, <laughs> Tyga. Was, and was it? It was Tyga. Was it Tyga, Tyga and SpongeBob? It was. <laughs> maybe it wasn't a tiger, Tyga. A tiger and Tyga. A Tyga. It was like it was a rapper. I thought it was Tyga, but I could be wrong. But still, know. Maroon Five. Dude, they've been bad for so long. They've been bad ever since they made the first Best album. Love has that's, a, that's a great song, dude. That's a wonderful. Oh, dude, you know the one where it's like, where it starts out with like the spoken word, mm. and he's like, Hello, everybody. What? I really, I've loved so much to play this show for you. What song at is this? The Super Bowl. And for me, for here to be the, at the halftime show, the Super Bowl, after the game, I think it'd be great if we all come <laughs> Out to the field, and you can all turn towards hanging me. <laughs> and then the song starts playing as he walks down. This love has and everybody rushes the field, and everyone takes a turn hanging him. Oh, it's it's a real <laughs> event. It's a it's a it's an event they took from another event. He would just do that on, on his own with his fans. But it being part of the Super Bowl he's was done a that, huge He's thing. done that live before. Yeah, I've taken Most part. Shows. I I hung him a few times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's his name? It was great. A- 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 April Levine. Adam Adam Papumpin. Apricot Levine. Yeah. Dude, everyone's just talking about uh, how handsome he is with his shirt off. He took oh, his shirt off. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Yeah. There was a really funny uh, picture he's I really saw. Really good that, looking guy. That was a picture of him and all, all his tattoos, and it was like, uh, got all these tattoos because girls are gonna love these. And then I like look, zoomed in all the tattoos, and they look so funny to me because they look very basic. They're like things that you would be like, what would girls like? Oh fuck! Just Google it's what gonna, girls like. It's gonna be a little eagle right here, a skull right here. Look at and just yeah. Go, look up Adam Levine's I'm tattoos. And, tattoos. And then a scary face. There's some cool ones. Don't get me wrong, but it was a it was a funny little. Well, he's got a big California tattoo going across his chest. That's super lame. Um, he's got a lot of lame tattoos. They look photoshopped onto him. Like they're too big. Like they're tiny tattoos that were just like put on and then like. Ping, ping. There's a lot of funny ones. There's a a lion underneath his belly button, um, oh, walking yeah. walking above his penis. Nice. Um, he's got, you know, <laughs> Lions He's Dan, got the, the sleeves. Um, those are really well done. Uh, I hate when people do sleeves that look like muscles. You know what? That oh, you shit, mean they like they like outline it by, that by shit circling? That grosses me out or, so or, bad. Or the peck ones Show that me. like curve around your peck to make it your peck look bigger. I mean, so many people have those. Like, I think the the Rock has uh, a big like tribal tattoo around his peck to make his peck look bigger. His peck already looks it's, gigantic. You didn't know that. It's already it's already like huge. Tribal tribal tattoo tattoo or some shit. Dude, this oh. shit grosses That's me the disgusting. fuck out. You want to put I it on the, the, the monitor? Fuck. Throw up on the monitor. Also, look up uh, the Rock's tattoos shirtless with his peepee out. Oh fuck that, no, dude! That's dude, that looks like is that uh, uh, Titans Attack on Titan? Is that what that shit? Lo- that's what it looks like to me. It grosses me out. I don't like that one bit. I don't know. Uh, oh, I thought you were talking about something else. Now do the Rock, the Rock's tattoos. Well, the Rock's tattoos are dope. Or safe yeah, I, I just right? I'm, I don't like the uh, the ones around. His, I mean, he still rocks it. it looks great. Well, look it's his like, chest. oh yeah. You see what I'm saying? They're well, tribal. It's like, a, it's like a Samoan tattoo, right? He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like his his. People. Click his the one where you can see his peck a little bit better, man. No, we're taking it away. I, you know, Come on, don't take that away from me, dude. I need <laughs> this. I need this. Oh fuck, I need this. I appreciate how The Rock is. Yeah. Oh, he's wonderful, isn't he? Guys, did you see the um, trailer for Hobbs and Shaw? No. No, I didn't see the trailer for it. Fuck, does it look bad? But yeah, everyone's gonna watch it. What like, is it? 
it's a it's it's a what's called a spinoff about the Fast Rock's the character and Jason Statham's character from the last couple. Uh, Don't like that combo already. I think. Oh, another Super Bowl thing. You know who's not a good narrator and shouldn't be part of the Twilight Steven Zone? Steven Septic. Jordan Peele. <laughs> Jordan Peele. Not he shouldn't a good, be a narrator. Not a good narrator. Yikes. He just sounds like. A character. Have you guys seen his show on Netflix yet? College Friends or whatever? That's key. Yeah, that's Keegan Michael. Sorry, key. Michael key. I get them confused. We talked about that yeah. enough to the point where I don't want to talk about it. On yeah, it just sucks. It's just so slow. So fucking. Like it has and potential. It gets if it had better like comedic timing and pacing, it would be funnier. The story arcs just are, they get it's more so slow. slow and more slow and more um, drawn apart. Did you guys see the Avengers Endgame? Yeah, you yeah. showed me that, right? It was interesting. No, I guess. it was just no? so short. I wanted it to be longer, but it was just like a Super Bowl spot. So I'm just glad so that it didn't spoil anything. That's yeah, nice. they're kind of in a tight spot where they would they have to avoid so much. In yeah, order well, to they actually... they usually like edit a lot of their trailers and they'll take things out. Like there's a scene where all the Avengers are like walking in a line, like at the Avengers Tower, and there it looks like there's a space enough for one of the other characters there, but like they CGI'd them out mm. for the trailer mm. clip. Mm. That's mm. interesting. I didn't yeah. notice that because I, I only watched it once. Yeah. I really like them to add SpongeBob into the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I fellas, think I'm we got bleeding. 15 minutes left. Hold so. on, I'm bleeding. Yeah, hold on, I'm bleeding. Yeah, Jamie, what you guys do? Can you give me two seconds? Yesterday. Oh, my God. I ate so much yeah, yeah. bullshit <laughs> over the weekend, that. man. I ate just so much, like, like gummy worms. And fucking like you're a Harry Potter trolley truck, aren't you? Yeah, man. I I, I, t- I took the <laughs> lot. I took the lot. I took the lot, and I ate the lot. And I ate the lot. And it was just, I tried to like balance it out. I Lauren and I made a wonderful steak dinner last oh, night. Oh yeah, it was a beautiful steak. Mm. Prime. Um, I think it was a ribeye. Wow, that's a terrible fucking story, <laughs> man. All right, man. Jamie's got a good <laughs> well, what's sense up? of humor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's, he's handling it in stride. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's I'm actually so, mad, so though. I'm so sorry. What would you like to talk about, Steve? I don't have anything I want to talk about. No, I didn't do anything this weekend, man. I never... I did... I went cake testing. Mm. Uh, you can do that. How was it? But it's boring. Fuck. Oh, it's boring really? To talk about. Was it for well, the wedding or was it just for the hell of it? Did you fucking... It was for the wedding. Did you eat some fucking cake? Oh, yeah. I went to, nah. Porto, went to Porto's. Oh. Oh, yeah, son. Yeah. Did you go to Susie Cakes? No. I don't know if they do wedding cakes. They do. How, why? How do you know that? Because th- he had one. Been married. <laughs> yeah, that you had a Susie cake. Yeah. Well, we looked into wedding cakes you and did? stuff. Yeah, I love. Ended Susie up not cakes. getting one. Yeah, didn't, <laughs> after didn't get a big, big one. After the regular red cake. velvet stuff, it's so fucking good. I can't really do Susie cakes anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh, because you would eat red velvet before bed every night. And yeah, you your brains out the next day. And then you moved on to Nutella, and now you've moved on to back yeah. to pizza. Dude, what? I haven't I haven't eaten Nutella in months. I'm that's that's so great. thankful Probably for that. Two, two, so three, two to three months. Yeah. yeah, that's really cleared up my image of you. Yes, because <laughs> it's really the cleared up my acne. Of, of <laughs> it's really cleared up my wet acne volcano acne. shit all over the toilets in the bathroom has definitely decreased since mm. then. Dude, someone clogged the fucking toilet so it's bad. It's just John. It's not John. I don't think it's John. John's he's he's been trying. We got all these new white kids here. All the new white That's people true. that came from a cinema or whatever. Right. White people have terrible diets. There, we do. Someone in this, and it has to be a male. We know that much. Um, well, the other bad is gender neutral can, now. Can everybody, especially white people, stop saying white people? That's such a stupid thing. Yeah, okay. Steve, dumbass That's bitch. That's such a stupid thing. Yeah, you fucking dumbass dude, bitch, dude. I, oh, I, I'm, I'm, well, dumbass bitch. Ugly cracker people. <laughs> is that it's it? literally just, <laughs> for some true. reason, I just think that's so, like... Annoying. Well, it's well how a, white, it became a bandwagon thing to be white and white also hate white like, people. Like, oh, white, white people. people are like, oh, white people. And I'm I, like, but what if you do it ironically? Like, you I don't know, think that wasn't you do. Ironic. It might <laughs> have started ironically, <laughs> yeah. but it doesn't. It's not ironic. You know anymore. when I'm out in public and I'm like, uh, hey, white boys. Like well, that, that that's different. That's just a funny thing. That's not non-ironic or anything. It's it's its own category. You know what? Of the, comedy. I if you can't make fun of your own race, then what can you make fun of, guys? Other races, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we did a lot of that. I think the thing about being a white dude now is that you really can't say anything about your race or unless you, you are dissing yourself. Like socially, I feel like that's the only way to really. Yeah, can you compliment your own race without it I sounding like it's a superior thing? We can't be like white people are great because that means that you're saying that other races are not. That's what great. I mean. Like, there's what really about, nothing else to do. What about white people is great? Oh, I really like their personalities. <laughs> <laughs> their personalities. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I really like their hair. <laughs> um. Penis that, size average is good. P- you know what average PSI? Is, PSI. You know what I realized? There's there is no brotherhood amongst white people. Like well, I feel like depends when, on the, like, well, the there's crew. one there's one big one. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> right. There's one big brotherhood amongst That's white, exactly amongst right. white people. That's exactly right. And so you can't you can't be like just because you're a white dude I have your back. That doesn't happen. But like I feel like everybody else's cultures get that but like we just we can't do that. Do Why think, can't we though? Is that because of that brotherhood? <laughs> I, well, that, that one sounds true, but is that true? Like is it right? that other races do um, 
like they're more I think together. you should have camaraderie with your community and your like whatever culture you um are a part of. I think we should, should segregate. Have, I think all cultures <laughs> oh, no. should have unity. And I was listening to I agree. I think that there talk should be this. camaraderie amongst like certain groups and then also unity amongst them as a whole. I mean that's like as people as there a should whole. Be, there yeah, should be pride. Should yeah, you be. can celebrate I think your the, Yeah, I think you should be able to celebrate and have pride for whatever like culture you're part of. And then also, without it being like overbearing no, 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 and not like, like talking as if it's superior. No, no, no. Like for Italian for Italian people. No. I disagree. I don't think anyone should celebrate their own race. I think we all need to come together and celebrate each other. As That's an and, idealist and point of view, man. You can't whatever. talk like that, and, dumbass bitch. And ignore Kidding. race altogether. I was watching a TED Talk with um, a social activist. Uh, so I forget what? her. Ruby something. And she was oh, Ruby. RT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was watching Ruby, the anime. <laughs> no, um, I think that, that you should be able to like have, like, I'm Italian and I love Italian culture and I love mm -hmm, what yeah. that is. You know what I mean? And like, um, I think that you should be able to celebrate that. Because I, then, if there if there's well, no Italian's celebration, not a race. I mean, yeah, it is. That's a culture. I said it's culture, an ethnicity. I, don't I was saying culture I think the whole time. I agree oh. that it's it's cool to celebrate, and it's like it's a fun thing, and it brings you together with with people in your culture. But I don't know if that is the best option. Like maybe what Steve's saying would be more beneficial for like well, unity no, in that general. Would never, but that would never but happen. It would never happen. Well, that's the thing. I but think would never happen with like the whole like, mean colorblind idea of like erasing people. So here's a question then. You guys are all talking. If you have, you just if, interrupted Jamie. if there's all unity, oh, he didn't say anything. Oh, he didn't matter. <laughs> oh, didn't I? <laughs> if there's meant to be unity and don't celebrate any sort of culture or race, then what do you celebrate? Life, Why humanity. Do you celebrate your fucking birthday, I don't know. You don't like that either, though. Yeah, I don't like celebrations. You know, I realize coming out here that everybody in L.A. has so much culture, but the only culture I have is, like, Southern culture. Mm. And, like, I am proud of my, like the the positive things I got from the yeah. southern culture but I, I don't feel like I could outwardly be like some of you has shame is what you're saying I, 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 there's a little bit I feel like sp like socially I can't be like I'm I'm proud to be a southerner because that will get misconstrued as like pride and something shitty yeah, yeah but again, that's also I, not your fault though that's just like a misconception that's with any group of people race or culture there's so much to be proud of and celebrate within these different groups but then there's negatives that or is what people jump to immediately, like yeah. saying, like, "Oh, why are you proud to be from the South?" Because of all this shit that happens. I'll sometimes say something nice about uh, versus like, "Hey, there's a lot of cool shit in the South." The too. South. I went to a wedding in Louisiana, and I stayed with um, Alyssa's uh, uncle, uh, her family. Some of the nicest people I've ever met. Now, granted, Southern I, I'm, hospitality, now, granted, baby. I'm white. Yeah. Um, and you are. They, they had other races there. Wait, so, you are. Yeah. And okay. we're on our way out, you know, we're driving away, and mm -hmm. the uncle just stays out there on the street just waving goodbye. Mm -hmm. Like, who does that shit? That's My family that's does amazing. that. They that's, stand on the porch as we drive off, and they, so they nice. hold each other, and I they have, wave. My mom <laughs> waves from the window for a little bit, and then she gets tired, and her arm gets tired. She goes, she goes, her arm falls dude, off. Dude, she just threw the window. Dude, no, no, my mom, my mom always waves through the window, and then suddenly there's so, a face that comes up behind her. <laughs> and, <laughs> or it's like in it's Toy taken. Story when he's, hey, Buzz is right here. Say hi, everyone. And then it's, the, it's uh, Buzz. Uh, and he's like, that's not Buzz. He's like, or it's like, fuck, what does he say? And then he's like, no, it's, he's fine. He's just yeah. holding the arm. <laughs> uh, Toy Story, dude, childhood. Oh, I didn't see the Toy Story four trailer. It's oh, just, it was it's just a little teaser. Oh no! Right? Isn't it just a little teaser? You know what? It's like them, like. Oh, you know who else? That makes is me that? happy that they're making another one. Really you know quick. That main, makes me so happy. You know who the main character of Toy Story Four is? Oh, peep. And also the same person that's uh, heading the Twilight Zone, and also the same person who's making the new movie Us, Jordan Peele. What the fuck? That dude needs to calm down. He's the main character of Toy Story Four. I'm pretty he's doing sure. Doing so much. Well, I think that's cool. Is I like Woody Jordan not Peele. the main character? No, it's it's like Bo Peep. He plays <laughs> Woody. <laughs> Howdy, y'all! I'll look it up. Real quick, somebody on the chat said not to be SJW on uh, y'all, but the co uh, camaraderie in other races comes from a mutual understanding of the oppression, oppression yeah. of their uh, mm. of their uh, race, their that their race faces as a whole. White people haven't experienced that level of oppression, mm -hmm. so the camaraderie besides there Jewish ends people up being white power BS. Well, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah I get I, that. That makes that sense makes to me. total sense. Sure, yeah. I, I think looking at it strictly from a race perspective, sure. But then there are also a lot of groups within Caucasians that were 100% marginalized, Italian-Americans, yeah. Irish-Americans, when they came to this country, it, it's a fact. They were treated just as bad as minorities, 100%. I'd in still, New York and in Boston and in those communities, they were treated like just nothing. I don't think Irish they were enslaved Italian. to the degree that No, other, I'm, 
I'm talking about like when they came here, like the turn of the century. Just oppression in general. Yeah, yeah oppression doesn't have like it doesn't mean There's slavery all degrees, the time. Yeah, right, yeah, very, yeah, but like there was no respect. They were literally given nothing. They were and those people at that time in those places arguably built up a lot of those places like New York and in Boston and stuff like that, like Irish Americans, Italian yeah. Americans. It has so become like it, a, there's, yeah, sorry. You, there's, that's why I'm saying like there isn't a black and white situation. I don't mean black and white race wise. I mean like, yeah. Do there's a black and white, like this is the only type of oppression that no, there for is. Sure. And comparing oppression, I think that like oppression comes in all shapes and sizes and there is oppression that's worse. There's oppression that isn't. Yeah, moving forward, you have to kind of just like decide to like be rooting for humanity in general. But I think it would be nice also, I mean, again, I don't know if this is right, but to like separate the idea of like celebrating race versus culture. You know what I mean? Because like culture, obviously there's culture that like goes with certain races, but also Mm -hmm. like to not celebrate like I'm white, that's dope. No, but no, more no, like yeah. my culture, I'm French, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know exactly, what I mean? I like yeah. French people. That's, that's, that's cool. That's what I was you know what saying mean? the like, whole time yeah, is yeah. the culture of like I really identify with like the Italian side of me, even though my entire father's side suck, mm-hmm. and they're all the Italians. But I really like I love being Italian yeah. just because there's so much culture there. Make sure that you're not slipping into a sort of a nationalist outlook on your culture mm-hmm. and your country. Oh, yeah. Just, just be a patriot. Yes, it's exactly. It's like a be patriotic, a patriot, not a nationalist. culturalist, you know? Yeah. Made that word up, I think. Jamie just texted me. He said, four minutes. Do we have any anything to shout out at the end of the podcast Was that the end week? of the ads? Or were you like, do we have any Yeah, we, just said we, have the, we have the one ad. We have Quip this week. Um, so oh, right once on. again, thank you to Quip yeah. for sponsoring the podcast. Uh, we have the P.O. Box open again. We're looking at it. You know, we're filming stuff that we're getting out of the P.O. Box. It's great. Jamie takes me over to the, the um, post office in my wheelchair and yeah. boy rolls, me, rolls me around. We gotta get you an automated one soon. Um, I'm tired tight. of fucking pushing you out. Yeah, I think that's most important. Yeah, you should, at the very least, dude, put some air in your tires. Yeah, we go to Seriously. The, yeah, we go to They're the, flat. Yeah, we go to the P.O. Box. Jamie, you know, has a difficult time pushing me up the sidewalk because mm-hmm. yeah. um, the tires are flat. They're flat. <clears throat> and Just get, we get, we you, get all the packages. You have about 200 uh, pounds in your ankles alone. We so yeah. let's, let's get the very... packages. And both of Jamie's wrists are broken. Um, yeah, yeah people, both of them. People send us a bunch of cookies. Um, I've eaten a lot of them. I'm probably going to oh, get yeah, cookies. Thank you, uh, there's still more? Thank you, Gina, for sending us all those cookies. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gina. Yeah. She wrote us letters, too. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Gina. For shout the, out to Gina, yeah. For the cookies, not the letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, and shout out to, uh, what's her name? Melania for the cookies. <laughs> shout out to the millennials for the cookies. You guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> and also, shout out to the Millennium Falcon uh, <laughs> for, the, for the cookies. <laughs> Do we have anything coming up that's cool? Um, I mean, we, we've got music in the horizon. Steve mm-hmm. and I are working on a song right now. Um, so I imagine the music video will be out maybe next week or the week mm-hmm. after for that. We've got uh, a sketch coming up that we're working on this week. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of cool videos. We've got some spooky videos. We've got some videos coming. we're working on. Yeah. It's uh, a Halloween season, baby. We're trying to have fun again, baby. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> again, I wanted to uh, like thank our community a bit too uh for not being as fucking crazy in the reddit you guys have been uh, a lot more supportive and like constructive criticism is nice hate isn't welcome yeah. but it's gonna be there i know <laughs> dude kip hates haters <laughs> i fucking hate you haters hey haters you can fucking lick my titty <laughs> just wow. the one though you don't show, get greedy you should show them yeah that's right <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> <laughs> all right follow us on our uh, social medias at official sp7 on Twitter and Instagram, and our individuals. Steve deleted his Instagram because he was being traffic tra- traffic. I was being human trafficked. Yeah. Yes. Because <laughs> he kept getting uh, trying to requests. <laughs> I kept getting human trafficked. <laughs> human traffic Dude, requests. Was awful man. Yeah, it was just I, bo- it was bothering. Just him. one of these months, I ended up in Siberia. Mm-hmm. Um, just being trafficked. Can you reactivate it so we can make the official sp7 Twitter that one? Just can change I what? that. Reactivate it. Oh, maybe yeah. Do that. Okay. Thanks everybody for joining us. Thank Thanks guys. You. Love you. Hey, later. Here's some kisses, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, this. We a- should be also shouting out that this is live. Like, yes. if you guys want to watch this, this early, you can you can watch this live on Receipt.com. Yeah. Get a first membership. It's a way to support the show. Yep. Also, buy our merch, baby. Every, also, every Monday, 1 p.m. Yeah. We start yeah. uh, Pacific Standard. Time. Also, here's some. Let's give some kisses to all our boys out there. Oh, boys from Blue. Guys, can we give some? Can we give them Rimmed some kisses? For the boys I in blue. Guys, uh, James, can you give them one kiss, I please? Can't. Can you give them one? Give them one fucking no, kiss. I don't know how. Show them how to give well, them kisses. I don't know how. Simple. Yeah. Mm. Okay, here's mm. another kiss. Mm. Here's Jamie's. Can you give him a kiss? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, Jamie knows right. how to so give a kiss. So everyone's giving him a kiss besides you. Besides you. Yeah. Oh, Look, you just gotta pass your, your lips. lips. Put your lips against the mic. Pass your lips. Mm. 
Okay, you got are you piercing your lips? No, you're eating the mic. Oh, you did a good job. He's making little farties. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like one of my poops made it past the 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 uh, duty the the, uh, uh, the guards like, who are on like duty. The, looks like the guards off duty, and they let a the little prisoner uh, escaped they through the. No, it looks like one of my little shits made they it past the wall. Little poo poo uh, made it past the night's watch. He's gonna get caught because he left evidence behind, didn't no, he? No, gotta take that evidence to forensics. See if he's the father. <laughs> okay, goodbye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye baby. Watched <laughs> the Ted Bundy. Yes. Documentary first you? couple episodes. Dude, yes. Man. So, yeah, I I finished it. It's really good. I It's fucked up. I think he's innocent. Can we get a go on, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you think that? I don't think there is conclusive evidence 